Aloha. I'm very, very happy to share this ukulele with you for several reasons. The most important reason is that it is a very, very high quality ukulele. The second reason I'm so excited to share this with you is that it's a baritone ukulele. And uh, I, I, I very much love baritone ukuleles uh, because my preference in sound is low and mellow with regard, uh, as opposed to high and bright. And I do want to say that uh, I, don't, I don't present my own preferences as something that uh, you should follow. They're just my preferences. Uh, and so basically what you ought to do is play the ukulele that sounds the best to you. Uh, speaking of sound, you'll love how this ukulele sounds. But before before I get to that, let me uh, let me go with a brief description. Uh, this is walnut on top, uh, myrtle on the sides and back, and there's another there's another adjective that describes this myrtle. Uh, but I, I I want that adjective to be for me for pretty because this back is so pretty, and um, and one of the things about uh, about players is we're very very interested in sound. Speaking of sound, listen to this. Listen to this. <laughs> rarely have opportunity or we rarely we we rarely take the opportunity to listen to individual sounds that come together in this and in this and the reason why it's so important is that generally when when we play ukulele and when we kanikapila uh, more often than not we try and beat the instrument into submission uh, by, by building more and more adrenaline. But every now and then, if we take the opportunity to do two things to your music, number one, slow it down. And the reason to slow it down is, is so you, as a player, can hear what the music is doing. And the number two thing is to soften your music. Uh, a little bit and and for the same reason because when you soften the music you're better able to hear and it's weird you know it seems that uh, sometimes when we're trying to get somebody to listen to play the ukulele we strike harder on the ukulele sometimes try this go softer and slower okay uh, and here's comes that baritone sound and one of the really wonderful things about that baritone sound especially here on the first second and third frets is I can play a chord like that and the chord is well defined you know we don't get that muddy sound uh, that we hear on, uh, on 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 some other instruments let me focus just a little bit on um, some of the things that you can do on a baritone that make it easier to do and what uh, what I'd like to do is to uh, is to talk about octaves uh, so I'm gonna play uh, uh, something here and play the same thing down an octave And so as, as I do that, neither the low nor the high on the ukulele sounds strain, uh, sound strained, uh, which means that the range, the range on baritone ukuleles generally are very wonderful. One of the things that contributes to good sound uh, that results in this range is like, is like the length, uh, the, 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 the scale length, and basically the tuning of the instrument. And again, the reason why I love baritone use is uh, it's low and mellow as opposed to high and bright. So listen to this again. And then listen to this. And the other thing I can do uh, to enhance sound and have lots of fun is play the same thing in a different key. So, uh, let me play for you um, uh, these together and I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna play the same song in two keys uh, and I'm gonna play the same song in uh, different octaves. Add an introduction.